My name is Dengiris. Yes, I admit to spreading the dengue virus that has killed hundreds of people across the world. And I confess that I will not stop. You may have caught me, but my sisters are out there doing the good work. Why only my sisters, you ask? Because our brothers are useless. They make all of the women do all the hard work. I am from the clan of Aedes Aegypti. There are other mosquito gangs out there, but we, we are the most dangerous. We are the only ones that carry the dengue virus. All our gang members are recognizable. We all have unique white marks on our legs, like this. My home is in dirty water. We love rainy weather. And all our secret base camps and training camps are in stagnant water. Whenever rainwater collects in puddles, in discarded tires, or in open toilets, we are probably there, loading up on dengue virus. It is monsoon season, and we are stronger than ever. We are coming for you. Beware. Controlling mosquitoes is tough. It's not good, it's not easy. It required work day in and day out to track where mosquitoes are and to apply safely the appropriate mosquito control method. Said by Tom Frieden. Eradicating mosquitoes is a means to an end. An uninfected mosquito is harmless to humans, just a nuisance. An infected mosquito is a danger. Said by E.K. Muriyaha. Good evening everyone, I am Shine Gautakuta, the Secretary and the Youth Service Director of the Interact Club of Phelan World School. Dengue fever is a mosquito-borne tropical disease caused by the dengue virus. Today we have gathered here to spread dengue awareness among our school students. I thank each one of you for your presence in this program. I welcome our guest of honor, DICC Rotarian Tulagna Daw, Rotary 3291, Rotarian Mosumi Bhattacharya, PDICC District Chair, Youth Membership Rotary District 3291, and our keynote speaker, Professor Sutopa Ganguly, MD Pediatrics, FIAP, IAP Fellowship in Pediatrics gastroenterology and hepatology, professor of pediatric and in charge, pediatric gastroenterology and hepatology, KBC Medical College, ex-professor and HOD, IPGMER, NRSMC, NPMC, MMC, ex-principal Chitranjan Seva Sadhan and Shishushan. 
Professor Sutapa Ganguly awards and achievements are Pioneer Award, Shishu Visheshakko Shiromani Award, SP Goshal Memorial Foundation in State Petikon. We are going to start our program with the national anthem. I request everyone to stand for the national anthem. जन गण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता तंजाव सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल छल जल तब शुभ नाम जागे तब शुभ शिष मागे गाहे तब जय गा जल गण जय 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 नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट आर रेस्पेक्टेड प्रिंसिपल सर मिस्टर जॉन स्टीवेंस गुप्ता टू से फ्यू वर्ड्स गुड आफ्टरनून टू द डिस्टिंग्विश गेस्ट आई ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ all the teachers and the students of Pelan World School i welcome each one of you and i thank professor sutapa ganguly for taking her precious time out this afternoon along with our distinguished guests of honor rotarian lagna do rotarian moshami bhat and all the other distinguished guests who have taken their time to be present here and even our wonderful junior students who are very eager to answer and even ask a few questions and are wanting to know much about why this happens the dengue and how the dengue awareness can take place and can prevent in the various localities and even our junior children can take the necessary precautions and we can save our uh, one another with this i ask professor sutapa ganguly uh, to say a few words thank you thank you sir for your kind words Good afternoon, respected teachers, Rotarians, and boys and girls. And I especially thank Chayan for kind introduction. So, should we start our discussion on dengue fever and its prevention, or somebody wants to speak a few words about dengue? I have some slides. I want to share the slides with you.
Now, dengue infection. What is dengue? Dengue is a febrile illness, acute in origin, and it is characterized by high fever, arthralgia, that means pain in the joints and bones, myalgia, that is pain in the muscles, which manifests as severe body ache, there may be associated headache and rash. And severe dengue infection is characterized by abnormality in homeostasis, that is in blood clotting, and by market leakage of plasma. You know, blood has two components. The liquid part is known as plasma, and there are cellular components. The cells contains the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and the platelets. So there is abnormality in the hematopoiesis and the plasma, that is the liquid part of the blood. It leaks out of the capillaries, that is fine blood vessels. And since there is no blood in the blood vessels, the blood carries oxygen to brain and other vital organs of the body. So the patient goes into a shock. Either there is shock or there is severe bleeding. The global prevalence of dengue has grown dramatically in recent decades. It is endemic in more than 100 countries. The spread of dengue infection is due to expanding geographic distribution of four dengue viruses. There are four types of dengue viruses and they are mosquito vectors. Predominantly the urban species of the mosquito Aedes aegypti. Rapid rise in urban population bringing greater number of people who contact with this vector. Where household water storage is a common problem and where solid waste disposal services are inadequate, thus they favor the breeding of the dengue mosquitoes. WHO, World Health Organization estimates 50 million cases of dengue infection worldwide every year, such a huge figure. And during epidemics, Usually the epidemics occurs during monsoon and after monsoon when water is accumulated in all waste buckets or in the uh, waste earthen pots or in the flower pots, all the, even in the tires, the discarded tires, water accumulates everywhere. And those are the, those clear water is the breeding place for the dengue larva. So during the epidemics, the attack rate is susceptible, maybe 80 to 90 percent. Those who are exposed to the mosquitoes, 80 to 90 out of 100 persons will be affected by dengue fever. And of these 50 million cases, 5 lakh cases of severe dengue infection require hospitalization every year. Large proportion being children, because the children, they wear short pants, the half shirts, they go out into the garden or into the fields for playing and they are exposed more to the mosquito bites. Virus which is responsible for dengue is the arbovirus of the family Flaviviridae. We learn in zoology, when you learn zoology, you will learn in further details. The vector that is the intermediate host in which the dengue viruses they develop so that they become infectious to a particular person is the urban species of Aedes aegypti mosquito which where household water storage is common and solid waste disposal services are poor and the bleeding basis of this Aedes aegypti mosquito. Now see a wild Aedes aegypti mosquito, it bites a dengue infected person. And the mosquito ingests the blood with dengue virus. It takes 10 to 12 days for the virus to incubate in that mosquito. Again, the mosquito, usually it is a female mosquito, female Aedes aegypti, when it bites another person, an infected person, that person that is the figure three, it becomes infected. Infected mosquito bites this person and this person gets dengue infected and manifests dengue fever in 14 to 13 days time. That is what 
approximately in one to two, two weeks time. Mode of transmission, transmission to humans occur by bites of the infected female Aedes aegypti mosquito. They acquire the virus while feeding on the blood of the infected person and humans are main amplifying host of the virus. This is the pathophysiology of dengue fever and dengue hemorrhagic fever. After the dengue virus infection against any antigen, the virus is an antigen, the body produces antibodies to combat the infection. Antibody, antigen, antigen antibody reaction with complement activation, they deposit on the vessels of various tissues and on platelets. Platelets are responsible for clotting of the blood. But when platelets are affected, there is mimicry, uh, that is uh, the viral antigen, they have some similarity with the platelets. So the antibody, when they are trying to destroy the viruses, they also destroyed the platelets. And so there is uh, less blood clotting and hemorrhage. Activation of the T cells. T cell is a type of lymphocytes is helped in fighting the infection. They produce various cytokines and these cytokines increase the vascular permeability and results in the clinical manifestation. That is hypotension, shock, cruel effusion and different organ involvement. Now, infants and young children present with undifferentiated febrile illnesses. Very in small children, the classical presentation of dengue with headache, body bleeding, rashes, they do not develop. You cannot differentiate it from other dengue infections. But classic presentation occurs in older children, adolescents, and adults. And there are three phases of the illness. Febrile phase, there is sudden onset of high fever for four to seven days. There is flushing of the face. Face becomes red. The entire body becomes red. And you can blanch the red skin. Body ache, myalgia, arthralgia, headache, anorexia, nausea. The life is uh, one lose all interest in food. There may be vomiting. There may be pain abdomen. And sometimes there may be sore throat with injected pharynx and conjunctival congestion. The eyes become red. Positive tunicate test is a very simple test to detect the how severe is the dengue infection. Just a blood pressure cuff has to be tied to the arm, upper arm. And you inflate the bulb and keep the pressure between the systolic and diastolic pressure for five minutes. Then you release the blood pressure cuff and wait for two minutes. In the skin of the elbow, that is the cubital fossa, in one inch area, if there are more than 10 blood spots, then you are sure that the there is, this is a severe dengue infection and the blood clotting is affected and patient may bleed anytime. Minor hemorrhagic manifestations like PTK, nose or gum bleeding, they are usual. Liver is enlarged in, and when it is enlarged and tender, it heralds a severe illness. Critical phase, after the fever subsides, remember that when the fever subsides, it is not always good because the force of the disease is like saddleback. And there may be after defervescence, there will be bleeding with fall in the platelet count, increase in the pack cell volume and organ dysfunction in some children. It may affect the liver causing hepatitis. It may affect the brain causing encephalitis. It may affect the heart causing myocarditis. It may affect the pancreas causing pancreatitis. So multi-organ disease may occur. And ultimately the most severe form is shock following the plasma leakage or following severe hemorrhage due to low platelet count. The platelets are destroyed. In the recovery phase, after 24 to 48 hours in critical phase, there is gradual resorption of the fluid which has come out of the 
blood vessels into the tissues. The fluid is reabsorbed when the body's immunity takes over. It takes 48 to 72 hours time and the patient's well-being comes off. There is again the child become jolly and back to its own mood and temperament. Appetite returns, the GI symptom, gastrointestinal symptoms like anorexia, nausea, vomiting, pain, abdomen, they gradually subside. The hemodynamic status stabilizes and diuresis ensues. Sorry for the printing mistake, diuresis ensues when it resumes. Some patients may have a rash of isles of white in sea of red. In the back, there are white spots in the sea of red. These rashes appear when dengue fever is subsiding and the patient is recovering. Generalized pruritus and ECG changes are common. Back cell volume gradually stabilizes and the white cell count, which were low during the acute infection, gradually rises soon after the fever subsides, while recovery of the platelet count, it takes longer. Now, other fevers with similar manifestation may be malaria, enteric fever that is typhoid, leptospirosis, flu that is influenza, tonsillitis that is the common cold, meningococcal infection, chikungunya, scrub typhus, Ebola, hemorrhagic fever, they may masquerade the dengue infection. But with the progress of the disease, malaria, there is intermittent fever, there is enlargement of the spleen in entry fever. Also, there is enlargement of the spleen and the fever is not acute. It gradually subsides. There is no such bleeding spots in the skin. In tonsillitis, the tonsils are enlarged. And so we can differentiate from the whole clinical picture, other system affection. In meningococcal infection, there is meningitis, that is snakes become stiff, and there may be paralysis. So diagnosis of severe dengue infection, clinical criteria, acute onset hydrate fever, hemorrhagic manifestation, at least a positive tunicate phase, tender hepatomegaly, hepatomegaly means enlargement of the liver and liver becomes tender. Diffusion in all body cavities, the fluid is leaking out of the blood vessels and accumulating in the pleura, that is the sac around the lung, in the peritoneum, that is sac in the abdomen, or due to loss of intervascular volume, the patient goes into shock. In laboratory criteria, there is thrombocytopenia, that is low platelet count. And since the, all the fluid part is going out of the vessel, the hematocrit value, that is the cellular component, it gradually rises. So these are the lab investigation, the total protein albumin goes low. And because they have leaked out of the vessels, the platelet count, PCB, platelet PCB, pack cell increases, platelet count decreases, leukocyte white blood cell count decreases, and the lymphocyte count, there is relative increase. Liver enzymes may be high. If you do an X-ray, there may be pleural fluid, you can see in the X-ray. If you do an EST abdomen, you can see that the fluid has accumulated in the abdomen. And confirmation of the diagnosis, you can culture the virus, you can do a PCR test, which is usually expensive and done in only few laboratories. NS1 antigen, Dengue non-structural antigen. This is a very simple and good test, but you have to wait for 48 hours of fever before you can this antigen test becomes positive. And there are some indirect methods that is IgM. IgM antibody detection and IgG. IgM appears early. 80% will have IgM by day 5 and 99% day 10. Peak level of IgM reaches on day 14. IgG, IgG means that body's immunity is taking over, it rises later. Peak to levels lower than IgM and declines slowly, but it remains detectable throughout the life. Now, there are stages of management, 
undifferentiated fever, dengue infection, without warning sign, dengue with warning signs, severe dengue infection, different stages had different category of management. And in severe cases, the child has to be managed in the intensive pediatric intensive care unit. And I believe that some of you will become doctor and they will well manage dengue. If you diagnose the disease early and treat it promptly, then there is near 100% chance of survival. Unless and until the patient comes in a very bad shape. What are the warning signs? Pain, abdomen, tenderness, persistent vomiting, clinical fluid accumulation. If anybody is suffering from fever and having those signs and symptoms, you can warn the elders that these signs are not good signs. The patient has to be hospitalized. Mucosal bleeds, lethargy, restlessness, complaining of pain under the right costal margin that is liver is enlarged and the two most important laboratory picture increase in pack cell volume and decrease in platelet count and this is the fluid management since the plasma is leaking out of the vessels you have to give more and more fluid till the patient is stabilized and if there is severe bleeding then you need to give blood Severe organ involvement means liver involvement and central nervous system involvement and there are other signs of heart and other system involvement. And finger lactate or normal saline are the fluids which are to be infused in acute stages in bolus. If no improvement in vitals and hematocrit falling, vitals means pulse rate, blood pressure, capillary refill time, they are not improving in spite of fluid therapy and the hematocrit is falling. Instead of rising, it is falling. That means patient has no blood cells left or the patient has bled too much, either internal bleeding or external bleeding. In that case, blood transfusion is recommended. Now, monitoring heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, central venous pressure, how many times the patient is passing urine per day. That means the how many, what amount of fluid is there in the blood vessels, hematocrit and platelet count, they have to be regularly monitored. It is a self-limited disease. Mortality in severe dengue may be as high as 20 to 30 percent if untreated. But early recognition, careful monitoring and appropriate fluid therapy leads to reduction in case fatality rate to less than 1%. All the recognition of shock and immediate treatment determine the outcome. How can you prevent dengue infection? Our aim is to elimination of adult mosquitoes and larvae. During the epidemics, there is aerial spray or fogging with malathion for adult mosquitoes. We'll often listen that some car is coming and they are fogging the houses, the fogging the corners, the fogging the drains, and there is a pungent smell. You have to close the windows. So this is the malathion gas, and they are fogging the malathion gas to kill the adult mosquitoes. Larvae, dengue larvae, can be controlled by source reduction. If you don't store water in unwanted places. Uh, because the dengue virus breeds into larva in clear water. So, if you don't allow water to store in the uh, flower pots or in the broken pots, or in the pots or in the buckets, left out teens, then there won't be breeding of larva. And you can use larvicides to kill that larva. There is a shellfish called Mesocyclops, which is credited to eat larvae of Aedes aegypti mosquito. No stagnation of water should be there in the kitchen, terrace, bathroom, flower pots, open places. Stored water should all be covered. In many vastis, there is no permanent source of water. So they 
in the morning hours when there is the water in the corporation tap they have to collect the water in handies in buckets in different pots and they have to store it in the kitchen or in the bathroom but those water sources should be covered they should never be left open use of mosquito nets how you you can prevent protect yourself if you use mosquito nets even if there is air conditioning even the do- windows are closed even one mosquito bite can cause dengue so never never forget to use mosquito nets make it a habit while sleeping use full sleeve shirts and full length pl- pants while playing outdoor games dengue mosquito if there is a believe that it bites in the morning hours but not always it may also bite in the evening hours and in the night also so you should whenever you go to bed even if you take a nap in the afternoon then you should be under mosquito net and or never forget in the hospital wards we when we enter we know that these 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 patients are suffering from dengue fever because the nursing staff always keep them under the mosquito nets so that the mosquito cannot bite those patients and bite the unaffected patients to transmit the infection so this is a simple and cost effective measures to protect yourself you can also apply the odomos type of things sometimes you have to go to bear wear put it in some places but if you power when you are read, studying or writing how can you cover your whole uh, body and your face but if you apply some um, um, mosquito repellent cream or spray then you can avoid the mosquito bite these are the places the canisters the waste uh vessels the buckets the flower pots uh, the, you see the tires uh, they are the breeding places of mosquito so be cautious be aware whenever you see some upright uh, vessel which is not in use you always make them upside down so that water does not collect in them so thank you very much for your patient hearing and how thank much you so much ma'am. thank you so much ma'am for your uh, guidance and kind words uh, good evening to one and all once again i am anjusha mohindar interact uh, i am in the interact club i am the club service director of the interact club of pelan world school now i request akshaya of class 4 uh, to kindly ask your question to ma'am about dengue Ma'am, my question to you is: What's the future of students like us? Will we always be fighting diseases like dengue and COVID? How can we focus on our studies? Thank you, ma'am. How can we study? How can we focus on our studies? How can you focus on your studies? Oh, it's very easy. You take adequate protection, huh? When you when you are fighting COVID. only inside when you when you go outside a simple mask ha a 30 rupees mask can protect you from inhaling the virus okay and when you are inside your home and some visitors come unknown visitors come to visit you say somebody has come to sell uh, uh, biscuits or somebody has come to sell fish or vegetables ha uh, when you are facing some stranger never forget to use your mask always keep a hand sanitizer beside your table whenever you even if the school reopens and you go to the class when you touch some surface which is a common in a, in some common place never forget to sanitize your hands always touch your nails and whenever you take some food never forget to wash your hands with soap and water that's how we can fight the covid-19 infection and by this time your parents must have been vaccinated and in near future there are there will be vaccine for children 
and they will give further protection against covid virus and protection against dengue i have already told you i have discussed uh, you discard all the waste faces uh, anywhere you you just go get out get up in the morning and survey where are the water stored clear water uh, and you call the elders to discard those waters discard those um, non usable pots and all and always keep yourself when you lie down in the under the mosquito nets you use the mosquito repellent or uh, that is good night uh, in the plug point when you read and if there is uh, too many mosquitoes disturbing you then you can use some mosquito repellent cream okay and when you go outside to play in the park you eat you wear full sleeve cotton clothes and full pants and thank socks. you so much okay ma'am thank you ma'am are you happy now yes ma'am now i request aryan ghosh of class 5 to ask your question to ma'am okay ma'am my question is why dengue is seen only in a few parts of india when will it be completely eradicated from india it is very difficult to eradicate dengue from india there are four types of dengue viruses and anyone can infect any person and you have there are two kinds of viruses rna virus and gna virus when you grow little older you go to the higher class you read further in details and the rna virus they are very mischievous and they change their shape they change their size they change their morphology and so the human beings it is difficult for them to protect with a particular vaccine they have the scientists have launched vaccine but if the new mutant strains emerge if we don't use ma- mask and we expose ourselves to the virus the virus passes from one person to other from him to the third person to third to fourth person and as much as the virus evolve the new mutant strains emerge and those mutant strains are very very mischievous stubborn type of strains often the vaccines cannot protect against those mutant strains so always take your guards put your mask put your hand sanitizer avoid crowded places and that's why that's how i can use uh, uh, keep yourself protected from covid and dengue i have told that you don't keep any unused clear water around you and or discard all the useless vessels and all and uh, protect yourself from the mosquito and long research is going on to bring out the vaccine there are multi centric trials to bring out vaccine against dengue a quadrivalent vaccine has been launched in some part of the world but it is not popular yet it is not accepted in all the countries more research is needed to uh, bring out the precise vaccine which will be effective against all four types of dengue viruses once the vaccine is there then you will be fully protected thank Still you so much you have to be careful you. about your personal protection thank you now i request upasana datta of class 7 to ask your question about dengue good evening to all those who are present here i am upasana datta the from class 7 today i am here with questions related to dengue fever my questions are what are the symptoms of dengue fever how is dengue fever caused and spread i believe you have listen my lecture ha huh? my talk yes, huh? so you yes, know ma'am. how dengue fever is caused yes ma'am if a person is infected with dengue virus having dengue fever and then female it is egyptian mosquito bites that person the virus enters the mosquito the virus is incubated inside the mosquito for one to two weeks time and when the mosquito bites another person a second person who is not infected then the at the time of sucking blood from the second person uninfected person 
you will pour the viruses into that person's body and that person will become infected that's why the dengue dengue infection spreads and so we have to kill the mosquitoes we have to kill uh, we have to um, prevent the collection of water prevent the breeding of the mosquitoes and use the larvicides to kill the larva and thus we can protect ourselves from dengue infection and dengue fever i have told you the sudden rise of temperature high fever severe headache severe body ache ha nausea vomiting pain abdomen pura zindagi barbad ho jata hai dengue hone se ha it's a severe severe type of illness and is followed by severe fatigue and sickness so let us protect from dengue ha not expose us to the mosquitoes to get dengue thank you, thank you so much do you use mosquito nets by sleeping yes, okay very good thank you, thank you so much now i request uh, shayan to continue the meeting now i request the respected pdicc rotarian mosumi ma'am to say a few words thank you shayan delegates present over here dr professor dr shukupa ganguli um teacher coordinator uh, chandra ma'am and all other dignitaries of pailan wal school and more mostly important my dear interactors um first i apologize that i was a bit late because i am about to uh, join a meeting a very important meeting of road track that's why i was late i'm sorry uh, my children and uh, chandra ma'am uh, yes i was listening to uh, dr ganguly's uh, deliberation thank you so much uh, dr ganguly yes i was also enlightened by your uh, speech i was also enriched i also did not have uh, some information I did not know few things about dengue. Thank you so much, and thanks, Authority of Pailan Wal School, to invite me to attend this program. Just whatever Doctor Ganguly said, adhere to that. Protect yourself from any of the diseases like COVID, like dengue. and uh, other diseases because you are the future of us there is no doubt about it so i think you have enjoyed this session thank you so much thank you you are most welcome thank you thank you for your participation thank you ma'am for your kind words Now I would like to request DICC Rotarian Sulagna Ma'am to say a few words. Good evening, Principal Sir. Good evening, uh, respected Shukupa Ma'am, Teacher Coordinators, and Interactors. Uh, we had a lovely evening because we were so busy with COVID. that we almost forgot the endemic that is there already uh, the dengue so it is uh, something we are again revising the things what we have to do uh, in order to restrict dengue in our society in our uh, state in our country uh, now it time for the interactors hope you have uh, learned many thing from dr ganguly and it's time you can control at least you can you cannot eradicate i know but you can control the spreading of dengue at the same time you can control the spreading of covid because it's in your hand at least where you are the people surrounded by you you can aware them you can spread awareness among them and you can practice because you can preach only when you can when you are practicing so if you practice at your home if you tell it to the other associates who associate people and if you make them concern make them conscious about the fact it will help out 
thank you had a lovely session and thank you poilan group for inviting me in this good in this session thank you thank you ma'am uh, one word from me uh, just sorry for interrupting you shan uh, since i joined late i just failed to uh, uh, see that uh, principal sir is present sorry sir i am very sorry i <laughs> failed to address you thank you so much because without your support uh, intra club of pilan world school uh, would not be able to go for those activities now i request our president nihal gupta of the intra club of pilan world school for a short speech good evening to one and all present here i am nihal gupta president of intra club of pilan world school taking the opportunity to thank our guest of honor rotarian sulagna dog and rotarian moshmi bhattacharya also our keynote speaker professor dr sutapa gangoli to grace our occasion with the valuable presence i also like to thank our principal sir mr john stephens gupta for his important speech and our teacher coordinator suchendra roy for helping us in every moment and making this occasion a successful one last but not the least i would also like to thank all our all our board members who gave their precious time in this event to make a successful one thank you i i would like to add that i thank the junior students and the teachers and the parents for uh, helping the children and also the wonderful questions that our junior students have asked to the doctor and have enlightened us god bless you all god bless pelan world school thank you so much thank you good evening everyone i am abhishek kumar singh the editor of the interact club of pelan world school Lastly I would like to share a video short video prepared by the junior school students on thank you awareness Dengu aur chikungunya shayad hi koi aisa ho jisne in rogon ka naam na suna ho ये भारत के अधिकतर महानगरों और शहरों में फैले हुए हैं इनकी खबरें आजकल गांव से भी आने लगी हैं। यदि हमें इनसे मुक्ति पानी है तो हम सबको मिलकर मच्छरों को पनपने से रोकना होगा कैसे ये बताएंगे तीन बहादुर और बुद्धिमान बच्चे पिंकी राजू और टिंकू हमारी कहानी शुरू होती है एक गुप्त मीटिंग से जहाँ डेंगू फैलाने वाली टाइगर मच्छरों की रानी महारानी एडीज बड़ी चिंतित बैठी हुई है साथ में है खबरी और फौजी मच्छर आइए हम भी सुने किस बात को लेकर चिंतित है महारानी एडीज कौन सी बुरी खबर लाया है खबरी मच्छर ये तो बड़ी टेंशन वाली खबर है खबरी मच्छर महारानी जेले में बड़ी तैयारी हो रही है हमें खत्म करके डेंगू से मुक्ति पाने के लिए और इस बार स्कूल के बच्चे बढ़ चढ़कर इस अभियान में भाग ले रहे हैं और डेंगू से बचने के के लिए बच्चे बड़ों को रास्ता दिखा रहे हैं तथा उन्हें जागरूक भी कर रहे हैं लेकिन इनका दिमाग इतना तेज कैसे हो गया बच्चों का दिमाग बहुत तेज चलता है महारानी जी कहावत है ना कि जिस गली में तेज बच्चे हैं उस गली में मच्छरों का नामो निशान नहीं चलो छुप कर देखते हैं मामला क्या है हम भी तो देखे ये तीन बच्चे कौन है ये कहकर तीनों मच्छर उड़ चले उड़कर पहुंचे राजू के घर के बाहर जहां राजू अपने मित्रों टिंकू और पिंकी के साथ बरामदे में बैठा हुआ है पिंकी के हाथ में एक लाल रंग का पर्चा था जिसे वे राजू और टिंकू को दिखा रही थी स्कूल में डेंगू और चिकनगुनिया विभाग से कुछ लोग आए थे उन्होंने ये बच्चा दिया है वो तीन बच्चे महारानी जी ये बच्चे के हाथ में क्या है खबरी हिम्मत करके आगे बढ़ता है पर्चे में झांकते ही वो डर के मारे थर थर कांपने लगता है कांपता कांपता वो फौजी और महारानी एडीज के पास पहुंचा। 
खबरी की यह हालत देखकर फौजी मच्छर ने पूछा क्या हुआ खबरी ऐसे थर थर क्यों काप रहे हैं अलग खर्चा है वो मच्छरों के लिए महारानी जी की फोटो भी है उसमें ऐसे उल्टी मड़ी पड़ी हुई थी ये महारानी की नहीं तुम्हारी फोटो होगी हम लोग लगभग एक ही तो है अरे अकल के अंदर छुप हो जाओ नहीं तो मैं तुम्हारी खून पी जाऊंगी सुनने तो उनकी बातें डेंगू के मच्छर रुके हुए साफ पानी में पैदा होते हैं ये आपके घर में एवं आपके घर के आसपास पास पनपते हैं जैसे कि पानी की खुली टंकी में बोतल बाल्टी कूलर छत पर जमे पानी में यहाँ तक कि टायरों में पेड़ के छेद में नारियल के खोल में और आइसक्रीम के खाली कप में भी ठीक इसी समय मास्टर जी वहाँ आ पहुँचे और बच्चों को देखकर बोले अरे वाह बच्चों खूब तैयारी हो रही है डेंगू विरोध अभियान की होनी भी चाहिए बारिश के मौसम में जगह जगह पानी जमा होता है और मच्छर पनपते हैं ऐसे उपाय करने होंगे ताकि डेंगू से बचा जा सके भारत में यह पुकार मादा संक्रमित एडीज मच्छर के काटने से होता है जो दिन के समय में काटती है डेंगू इन्फेक्शन यानी संक्रमण बड़ा ही खतरनाक होता है और कभी कभी जानलेवा भी हो सकता है सुनकर महारानी एडीज ऊंची आवाज में उड़ते हुए बोली बरसात के मौसम में लोगों की लापरवाही से पानी इकट्ठा होगी हम और पलटेंगे और इंसानों को कहर बरसाएंगे चलो बच्चों अब घर चलते हैं बहुत बातें हो गई और डेंगू और चिकन गुनिया से बचना है तो ऐसे कपड़ों पहनो जिससे शरीर का ज्यादा हिस्सा धगा रहे और एडीज मच्छरों से सुरक्षित रहे मच्छरों की टोली बड़ी चिंता में थी दोपहर के समय महारानी एडीज के अड्डे पर फिर से मीटिंग शुरू फौजी खबरी कुछ भी करके हमें वो पर्चा छुड़ाना होगा कल सुबह राजू के घर हमला होगा पर्चा गायब करेंगे और हमें मिटाने के सारे इरादे ठीक गायब अगली सुबह तीनों मच्छर उड़ निकले राजू के घर की तरफ जब वो राजू के घर पहुंचे, तो देखा कि घर के सभी दरवाजों और खिड़कियों पर जाली लगी हुई है खबरी मच्छर दूसरे रास्ते से घुसने की कोशिश करता है और देखता है कि राजू मच्छर भगाने की क्रीम लगाकर सो रहा है उसके बाद फिर दूसरे कमरे में जाता है और वहां देखता है कि पिंकी पड़ रही है वह जैसे ही कमरे में घुसता है उसका सिर चकराने लगता है और चकराते लड़खड़ाते हुए वह जमीन पर गिर जाता है फौजी मच्छर भागता हाफ्ता प्रवेश करता है एडीज महारानी एडीज हम लोग लूट गए तबाह हो गए अरे क्या हुआ अच्छा चलो चलो जल्दी घबरा जाते हो क्या होगा तुम्हारा चलिए महारानी एडीज के पहुंचने से पहले हम चलकर देखते हैं कि राजू की गली में किस बात की हलचल है अरे उनके हाथों में तो वही लाल पर्चा है जिसमे डेंगू ऐसी बचने के उपाय बताए गए है आइए सुने क्या कह रहे हैं बच्चे अपने परिवार के सदस्य और पड़ोसियों से सुनो सुनो सब सुनो डेंगू और चिकनगुनिया से बचने के सरल उपाय मच्छर पकाने वाली क्रीम और मैट का प्रयोग करें तथा सभी दरवाजों और खिड़कियों पर जाली अवश्य लगाएं गर्भवती महिलाओं और बच्चों को दिन में मच्छरदानी में सुनाए सप्ताह में एक बार फूलदान कूलर पशु पक्षियों के पानी के बर्तन आदि को रगड़ कर धोकर सुखा कर फिर पानी भरे महारानी एडीज और फौजी मच्छर छुपकर ये सारी तैयारियां देख रहे थे बच्चों के डेंगू विरोधी अभियान को देखकर महारानी एडीज हताश हो गई फौजी हम यहाँ नहीं देख पाएंगे डेंगू नहीं खाला पाएंगे महारानी एडीज कई और चले कई और इलाका ढूंढा जाए राजू पिंकी और टिंकू अपनी कामयाबी पर बहुत खुश होते हैं धन्यवाद धन्यवाद
धन्यवाद डेंगू और चिकनगुनिया की मुफ्त जांच और उपचार की सुविधा सरकारी अस्पतालों में उपलब्ध है अधिक जानकारी या किसी भी प्रकार की सहायता के लिए अपने शहर या गांव के नजदीकी स्वास्थ्य केंद्र से संपर्क करें A special thanks to the junior school students and the teacher for this wonderful performance. Uh, I'm just interrupting once. Uh, I must congratulate the junior school students that they have done a very good job. And uh, thank you, teachers. And this is this this is the way everyone must be Raju, Pinky, and Pinku, and uh, they must always. uh do do this type of work in your society so that you can get rid of dengue very easily thank you uh thank congratulations you. to mrs juhi singh uh, the junior hindi teacher and to mrs alia wasi and her team of teachers and to our thank wonderful you. wonderful junior boys and girls and definitely thank to you, the sir. interactors Thank you, sir. Uh, directors, well done. God bless you. Uh, thank you, everyone, for attending this meeting. Thank you.